To access free topic sheets, worksheets, or to book an online class, visit ilearneasy.co.uk. Continents. In this video, we will learn about the seven continents. A continent is one of Earth's seven main divisions of land. When we look at a globe, continents are the easiest thing to spot as they are large solid areas of land. All the continents are different shapes and sizes. There are seven continents. The seven continents from the largest to the smallest are Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe and Australia. All the continents have different kinds of weather, landscapes, environments and populations. For example, Antarctica is very cold and icy. It has little plant and animal life, whereas Africa is very warm and it has a variety of plants and animals. Most of the continents are also divided into political units called countries. Now let's look at each continent in detail. Asia Asia is the largest continent. It covers one third of all of the land on Earth. Asia is surrounded by the Pacific Ocean, Indian Ocean and the Arctic Ocean. There are 48 countries in Asia, which are home to two thirds of the world's population. There are over 2,300 languages spoken in Asia. The most populated countries in the world are China and India, both being home to nearly 1 billion people each. This continent has many natural wonders, such as high mountains, deserts and the highest plateau. Africa Africa is the second largest continent. This continent lies between the Atlantic Ocean and the Indian Ocean. There are 54 countries in Africa. This continent has many natural wonders, such as the world's largest desert, the Sahara Desert, and the world's longest river, the Nile. The Sahara Desert is located in the north of Africa, and the river is located in the east of Africa. As well as being home to a large population of people, Africa is also home to many wild animals, including elephants, rhinos, wild cats, zebras and many more. North America North America is the third largest continent. It's surrounded by the Arctic Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Caribbean Sea and the North Pacific Ocean. There are 25 countries in North America. The USA, Canada and Mexico are some examples. This continent has many natural wonders, including the Grand Canyon and national parks, such as the Yellowstone National Park, Denali National Park and the Arches National Park. South America South America is the fourth largest continent. It is bordered on the west by the Pacific Ocean and on the north and east by the Atlantic Ocean. North America and the Caribbean Sea lie to the northwest of South America. There are 12 sovereign states in South America. Brazil, Argentina and Colombia are some examples. This continent has many natural wonders, such as rainforests, the world's driest desert, and the Amazon River. As well as being home to these natural wonders, South America is also home to many unique animals, including llamas, anacondas, 
capybaras and many others. Antarctica Antarctica is the fifth largest continent. This continent is surrounded by the Southern Ocean. The temperature in Antarctica is very cold and most of it is covered in ice. Antarctica is home to many species such as seals, penguins, birds and many animals. Europe Europe is the sixth largest continent. There are 44 countries in Europe which are home to a quarter of the world's population. Many different cultures and languages exist in Europe. Sometimes people think of Europe and Asia as a single continent. They call this Eurasia. Australia Australia is a continent that is also a country. This is because it's the only continent that's occupied by a single country. Australia is surrounded by the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. Australasia refers to Australia, New Zealand and other islands in the Pacific Ocean. Australia is known for its natural wonders and range of wild animals. In 1912, a German scientist came up with the idea that the continents were all once joined together. He called this large body of land Pangaea. He suggested that more than 200 million years ago, Pangaea split apart to form continents. The continents then drifted apart to their current locations. Scientists since then have found evidence that this idea was correct. They now believe that the continents sit on a number of large plates. The plates float on a layer of melted rock. As the plates slide over the melted rock, the continents also move. This idea is called plate tectonics. <laughs>